A very good evening to all fellow Rotarians, and I would like to welcome all of you to a special Rotary Open Opportunities Masterclass webinar session. And today we'll be talking about managing intra clubs. Uh, I will be your group discussion leader or GDL for today. Uh, my name is Rotarian Nicholas Chan from the Rotary Club of Pataling Jaya. I will be the incoming district intra chair for Rotary Year 2020 2021 under coming district governor KSTO. Now, uh, it's very important for us to remember today that this webinar session is about managing intra clubs, uh, especially for uh, youth service directors as well as Rotarian advisors who are attending today. Um, I like to stress the importance of this session is that as uh, Rotarian advisors and Rotary clubs that maintain and manage your intra clubs, it is very utmost important that you pay very special attention to your role and responsibility as Rotarian advisors and your duties as a Rotary Club to the Intra Club and the various stakeholders that are involved in managing an Intra Club. Now, uh, a little bit about myself. My name is Rotarian Nicholas Chan, as I mentioned earlier, from the Rotary Club of Pataling Jaya. I joined uh, RCPJ as a Rotarian in 2017. I've been the Youth Service Director ever since. And uh, incidentally, I was a former instructor myself from Catholic High School uh, in Pataling Jaya. Uh, incidentally, the person who proposed uh, me to, to my membership in the Rotary Club Pataling Jaya is my actual Rotarian advisor when I was an instructor uh, in the 90s. And I'm very proud to say that uh, as a Rotarian advisor, uh, past president Jack Lim was, had been a very profound uh, influence in my life as an instructor. And hence why I, I would like to share uh, why is it so important uh, that uh, the role and responsibilities and duties of a Rotarian advisor is so important, especially for the nurturing of our young instructors and the maintenance and the managing of our individual intra clubs for your club itself. Uh, a little bit about myself, I've been working with the youth for many, many years now. I teach uh, and also I train. I'm a visiting professor at uh, Beijing Jiao Tong University in Beijing, in China. I also am a visiting professor at Iowa State University in Iowa State in America. And also I'm an advisor and also a visiting professor and trainer with Cyrix College in the Maldives. Uh, I've been a creator of many youth programs for the Olympic Council of Malaysia and also for Taylor's University. Um, my core job, I'm a management psychologist and a psychometrician. I deal a lot with uh, understanding people's personalities so um, I spent my life working with youth, so I'm inherently very good in terms of working with all these young people. Um, in terms of my Rotary contributions, um, I'm the incoming district intract chair for Rotary year 2020-2021. I'm currently the co-editor for the district intract handbook and I, the ILTS or the intract leadership training seminar manual together with past district governor Paul Lee. I'm also a group discussion leader as today uh, with incoming district trainer PDG Kiranji Kaur. I was also the organizer and coordinator of the district youth lab uh, for the, this current Rotary year, which is 2019-2020, uh, together with the district uh, trainer PDG uh, Siti Subaida, where we sat down and talked about all four areas of youth, which is the in, uh, uh, international youth exchange, in track, road track, as well as Raila. Uh, the Rotary Youth Leadership Awards. So in terms of it, I guess my experience may not be as much as a lot of the Rotarians here today, but uh, my passion and my experience of working with you made me quite natural in terms of working with our instructors. Now, it's important for us to be able to understand um, the learning objectives. And before we go into this, it's very important for us. So at the end of this course, you will learn the basics of managing an intra club. But the key role that we're going to be talking about today is the Rotarian Advisor, and we're going to focus a lot about that. Now, I'd like to bear in mind that uh, while this session is mainly for uh, current Rotary Clubs with existing intra clubs, I know I also fully understand that some of your, the people attending today are very advanced clubs that have, uh, uh, may have been managing their intra clubs for many years now. Uh, some from the 60s and 70s and 80s and 90s all the way to today. But I'd like to also stress that uh, based on uh, feedback from um, current district intract chair uh, Kelvin Tum and also from uh, 
past assistant governor uh, Johnson Park, who is the district youth chair, uh, through their many meetings with many various Rotary clubs and interact club advisors and also teacher advisors in schools. Um, we'd like to focus a lot more on the core roles of the Rotarian advisor because we have, they've encountered, uh, based on their data they've collected, they've encountered a lot of clubs that are still lacking in their coverage and their core responsibilities as a Rotarian advisor. Hence why today this room session is going to be focusing on Rotarian advisors. Fear not, we will be covering more detailed uh, topics like dealing with teacher advisors and working with principals. And I think it's very important for you to understand that all right, and uh, that's why we like to do this disclaimer before we continue into the next uh, few slides. Uh, we're going to identify the duties and responsibilities of an effective Rotarian advisor to an intra club and also discuss potential challenges in your intra club administration and how to overcome them. Now, a picture is worth a thousand words, and I like to also focus a lot on this little picture here. Um, this was my first year as a Rotarian advisor. Uh, this was during our event called Clean PJ, where we worked with the uh, Majestic Pabandalan uh, City Council of Petaling Jaya. Uh, on, uh, and all our interactors were actually involved in uh, this project. And I like this picture because it shows how much we as Rotarian Advisors play such a big role in the lives of our interactors. Not just as an adult managing them or keeping the discipline, but to be role models and inspirations to all these people. Um, here, I, I was the Rotarian advisor for the intra club of Sutta Abdul Samad, a school in PJ. And they were one of the only schools that actually made a profit and raised money for their causes uh, during the Clean PJ. And I, here I was at the end of the session after the Clean PJ and congratulating them and giving them encouragement and making them feel wanted. I think these are very important things of why uh, the, uh, we are, as Rotarian advisors, need to be for these young people. Um, I always like to tell um, uh, my interactors this particular message. I think it resonates a lot with us also as Rotarians that we need to be that inspiration and we need to tell them and make them realize how important interact can be in their lives. That it's a one in a lifetime experience for them to be able to be part of such a wonderful organization. I always tell this to my Interactors and the board directors and even Rotarian advisors that I work with now as a youth service director that I want them to pass this message that if they were to look around these students in schools, look around and look at all the clubs around them right now, the history club or the BM club or the English club or the debating society. I'm not saying that these clubs are bad or necessarily uh, lacking of anything, but look at the intra club. It is the only club within the school system that is supported by a global service organization like Rotary International. And they have access to an adult, a Rotarian advisor that can help them build up their leadership skills, their organizational skills and everything. So with that said, if you put that into context, then you see how, how important is your role as a Rotarian advisor when it comes to dealing with and managing these instructors. So that's why I say the picture is worth a thousand words. You as the Rotarian advisor, right, plays such a huge, immense role in the development of these lives, uh, young lives that you hold in your hand today. So to all the present elects and the board directors here, we'd like you to take the role of uh, youth service and uh, Rotarian advisors very seriously when you're choosing Rotarian advisors. Now the, Rotarian, the role of the Rotarian advisors, your duties is very simple. They are basically uh, four categories that they fall broadly into, mainly uh, duties to the Rotary Club, duties to the school, Ministry of Education, and also uh, when we're talking about that, it's the parents, and duties uh, to the intra club, and finally the duties to the instructors. And we're going to go through each of it uh, one by one. Uh, giving examples, we'll also be talking about several case studies. And we hope that you'll be able to look at all these things at the same time. All right. Now, let's look at the first one. Now, the duties of the Rotary, the duties to the Rotary Club. Now, a Rotarian advisor is essentially very simple. You are an ambassador to your Rotary Club. When you step into that school attending the board directors meeting, you are basically the liaison between the school, the school and the Rotary Club and the Intra Club. 
So you are your Rotary Club's representative to the school and the intra club. And such, you present to the world, uh, to the school, uh, the Rotary values, the Rotarians. You represent every single Rotarian from your club. You are an ambassador for the RI, the Rotary International President, uh, the District Youth Committee, the District Youth Chair, the District Interact Chair, your president, your youth service director, and you are that link between the school and the Rotary Club. So as a representative of Rotary and the sponsoring Rotary Club, uh, your role is very simple. You need to make sure that you attend the mandatory intra clubs, general and board meetings. More importantly, the board meetings. Now, I don't know whether you are uh, aware of this, but under the bylaws and constitution of an intra club, any, meet, any board meeting or board director's meeting uh, that does not um, have the teacher, a teacher and rotary advisor present is considered null and void and invalid and cannot be presented as valid even, in, even if minutes were kept and quorum was actually achieved uh, by the board directors. So uh, we've seen multiple cases and I won't name certain rotary clubs here, but after investigation by uh, District Interact Chair Kelvin Tom, uh, they've discovered that a lot of uh, intra clubs do not have their Rotarian advisors attending the board directors meeting. Hence, a lot of these meetings are invalid. Now, why do we need to attend these meetings? Because it's very simple. If you do not attend this board directors meeting, you will not be able to advise the club. You will not be able to update the club, uh, teacher advisors or the school on anything that's happening or to share projects. And you may not be even be able to report back uh, monthly status at the Youth Service Committee meetings that is chaired by your Youth Service Director and attended by your President uh, and Honorary Secretary as ex officio. So you need to update your club on uh, all the happenings in the school and also update your intra club and the teacher advisors on what's happening. I'm sure there are lots of the school will be able to contribute to some of the projects. Uh, a very good example. Um, uh, at uh, the Rotary Club of Jaya is that we work very closely with the intra clubs, especially like, for example, our campaigns that deal with uh, the PJ Municipal Council or MBPJ uh, doing the Clean, Clean PJ project. Our intra clubs, our interactors play a big part in our Golden Child project where we uh, bring uh, terminally ill children out for a weekend at A Formosa, where most of the youth activities and all the games and activities are actually run by our road tractors and interactors. So, so it's, it's very important to be able to build that relationship. And if you do not attend these meetings, you cannot be the ambassador effectively. You also very importantly need to be the source of Rotary and Intrac information to the Intrac club and also to educate the teacher advisors on what is Rotary and what is Intrac as a whole. Uh, uh, my personal experience and also when I do ILTS and going around together with uh, PAG Johnson and also with uh, Rotarian Kelvin Tam, the district intra chair, is that a lot of the intra clubs don't even know the basic knowledge of intra. What are the six goals of intra? Uh, when did the first intra club come into being? Um, the intra song, right? And even simple rotary terms like, for example, service above self, um, the four way test. All these are basic things that you as a Rotarian advisor need to advise and share all this information. There are lots of this information available on the RI website that we can share with you later on also as well. Uh, duties to the school and to the parents. Now, because uniquely, um, traditionally overseas, intra clubs are basically like Rotary clubs that are ours. They are community-based, either like in America, at, based in a boys and girls club, we are different because we have school-based intra clubs uh, and hence we have a duty to the school and in that relationship also to the Ministry of Education of Malaysia. So our most important stakeholders. So it's very important for you to build that relationship again as an ambassador for your Rotary Club, Rotary International and your club president to the school that holds the intra clubs. And everything that we do is based within the school, hence why it's very important for us to get to know the principals and teacher advisors. It's very important for us to be able to build a relationship with them, to promote a cordial relationship with the school principals and teacher advisors. Now, why is this in, in relationship very important? Because number one, 
uh, we all know that principals come and go and teacher advisors get changed quite often during a school year. So if you do not attend board meetings or general meetings or even keep a close relationship or communication with the school, you might miss out on these type of things and hence um, a lot of misunderstanding can happen between the intra club and also with the school principals and the teacher advisors. So it's very important, number one, one of our uh, key, one of the things that we can do is to pay courtesy calls on the school principal. Um, you, can bring, uh, you can bring your club president to also meet or the youth service director to meet with the school principal, make an appointment, um, brief them on Rotary and intra activities, maybe even give them a briefing on what is Rotary and the different ro uh, roles in Rotary and what the projects we can do. And hence, maybe even there are maybe some projects that you can do. For example, uh, I like to give my examples also. Um, uh, I heard that the, uh, from the Rotary Club of Jaya, but there are also Rotary Clubs like the Rotary Club of Setiawan under PAJ Daningui. Uh, they do a lot of fantastic projects between the Rotary Club of Setiawan and also some of their schools like ACS Setiawan that they do a lot of joint projects with the school and the Rotary Club with the Intra Club. Uh, at the Rotary Club of Jaya, we work very closely with the school. Like for example, at Catholic High School, we actually, um, under one of the six Rotary, so focus or six area focus of Rotary, uh, for Rotary International is to, on clean water, we, our, our water conservation, we actually helped uh, install a water conservation system project that we work with our past president, Elias, and also uh, this was doing with our past president, Vian Chin, uh, where we uh, installed a water conservation project um, uh, system that allowed the school to be able to save money by conserving using rainwater and using this rainwater as recycled water for cleaning and other purposes in the school does help saving the school from it. So this is something that we help solve the needs of a school. At the same time, we achieve um, one of the key goals in uh, promoting the Rotary values and the six areas of focus of Rotary. Um, we also very importantly need to seek their views on interact clubs and activities to be able to work with them when it comes to uh, getting their permissions and getting their input into how the school can contribute and how the school are, is able to help us with our uh, Rotary projects and interact projects in, within the school as well. Uh, one of the few things we like to suggest to you is to maybe hold something what we call a school dialogue. Now we do this quite often, a lot of the schools, the Rotary Club of Pudu does it, the Rotary Club of Greater KL and also the Rotary Club of uh, KL Divaja and uh, several other uh, Rotary Clubs. Uh, basically, is to bring the teacher advisors, Rotarian advisors, um, get the youth service committee, um, the vice principal in charge of the student affairs, the vice principal in charge of co-curricular activities or co-co vice principals, and bring them out for maybe a nice dinner. And then after that, sit down with them to be able to work out uh, all the things, all their concerns and everything in a very relaxed setting and in a very constructive manner. And this shows, this shows um, a very um, strong presence of mind for the school to show that, that the Rotary Club is very concerned about the quality of the, the projects and also the relationship between the Intra Club and the Rotary Club. All right. uh, you need to also provide news and information to your Rotary Club. All right. uh, one of the things that we do is that we take a we take some of our um, volunteer copies of uh, our club bulletin, our club newsletter, and also the Rotarian magazine and pass it to them so they can get a lot of information about um, uh, Rotary knowledge and everything. We also invite them to our club meetings and also our fellowships like our installation and our international night or even our anniversary dinners. I think it's very important to keep and maintain that relationship and uh, that's something that we really appreciate our schools in becoming uh, more closer to us at the same time. Um, another key stakeholder uh, that we need to also be aware of are the parents. Now, parents are a key stakeholder and need to be engaged, right, uh, as well. Um, it's very important to engage parents in the communications loop. Um, uh, here at the Rotary Club of Taling Jaya, we look at being an instructor as a very serious a very important milestone in the life of a student. We have a special letter that we draft out on our letterhead that once a student uh, becomes graduate, graduates from probation, excuse me, graduates from probationer to instructor, uh, they will get a letter that we can uh, pass on to the parents and we address it to the parents directly saying that uh, congratulations on being uh, your child being an instructor. 
and we share with them the journey of what the interact is all about, what are the projects they're doing. And we engage parents in the communication loop as well. And we also encourage the interactors to invite their parents to their activities and their projects to get involved as well. So we get to meet the parents as well. Uh, brief them on road tree and intra activities, update all the going on on your club. It's very important that we also emphasize to the uh, interactors that please keep your interactors, um, uh, interactor parents updated with other projects and everything. So they are always up to date uh, to get permissions and everything. I think all the basic things that we need to also realize that because they are still students and they are below 18 years old, they are still within the care of their parents. We need to make sure that all permission slips and all permissions and all the proper paperwork and documentation needs to be done to make sure that we cover all purposes. Now, um, depending on which state you're from, you might need to get permission letters from everything. Uh, we will cover that later in a separate uh, youth session. We'll be talking about that later on. Uh, invite them to your club meetings, a uh, possible source of new membership. I think uh, under uh, PAG Dato Siva Ananda, all right, uh, to help him in his membership. Uh, we, I mean, there are parents out there who may not be aware of what Rotary is all about. They may not even be aware that Rotary exists. So you might want to include all these parents in your club meeting. So basically to ensure a very good communication look, to ensure and reassure parents that their child is in safe hands with us Rotarians. Uh, uh, duties to the intra club. I think that's also a very important part of um, the process, right? Now, the intra club is the main defining tool, uh, front of the Rotary movement for youth. You are the lifeline to your intra club. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, you need to attend all their board, all their board meetings. Otherwise, it's invalid. Participate in their projects. It's nothing. It's more discouraging when. An interactor doesn't see their routine advisor attend their projects. It basically gives them to show them that your presence is gives them a sense that the Rotarians care and the Rotary Club is fully aware of, uh, of it. So always make sure that, um, especially out there, a uh, word of advice and also a word of note to all the youth service directors and the club presidents when choosing a Rotarian advisor, making sure that you choose a Rotarian advisor that's always available or are able to plan their time proper to be able to be there to be, uh, be present for these interactors. So announce interact projects at your weekly meetings so Rotarians can join in and help out. So when you go back to your club meetings, your regular meetings, weekly meetings, always announce interact projects at your weekly meetings. Uh, either you can pass this message on to your youth service directors or maybe you can take turns with your youth service director to go out and announce um, uh, any interact projects that maybe some of the Rotarians would like to attend or contribute something. Uh, advise them on their club activities and projects. Guide and advise them. Don't run their club for them. They need to understand that it's a personal development journey. They need to be able to guide and advise. Uh, to You I need to guide and advise. And basically, I think the key phrase here will be empowered leadership. And you need to lead by example. Nothing hurts more than telling them about leadership, but a uh, Rotary advisor is never there, right? Um, encourage them, motivate them, but never belittle them, especially in the open. You are a role model leader. So if, you, if they've done something wrong, uh, if the board has done something wrong in the intra club, reprimand or advise the leaders only at the board meetings, not at general meetings in front of their members. It can be very discouraging. These are very young people, very fragile self esteem They are going through a lot in their lives right now. Uh, exams, peer pressure, or everything that comes with the, the trappings of youth. And we need to be more mindful and to have a sense of empathy with these young people. I think 3.5 is very important to be available for them, to be that, uh, board, uh, that, that advisor, to be always um, present for them. As an advisor to a club, you don't run the club for them. You need to advise them and it's very important for you to be able to work with these people. Right now, uh, let the intra club leaders plan and execute. Right, uh, give them the space to be able to be leaders, to be able to plan to execute. Intra is a leadership. It's, lead, it's basically leadership training. I like to share this personal story that I had um, when I became a board director as a you know, international understanding director with my intra club in Catholic High School. Um, why I say the Rotarian advisor has played such a big impact is um, on my first board meeting, I met our Rotarian advisor in a more 
we, we saw him at our general meetings, but he was larger than life at meetings. And he was uh, past president. Jack Lim was the first non-Japanese uh, president and chairman of Canon Malaysia back in the 90s. And he came with a driver, right? And he came with the coat. He was always well, uh, he was always well dressed. He carried himself with a dignity of a Rotarian and inspired us to have this adult um, advising us. And I always remember my first board directors meeting and the first thing he said to us was uh, fiscal responsibility. And as a 16 year old, what the hell is fiscal responsibility? I don't even understand what the hell is that. But he told us that, oh, you need to be self-sufficient. And he gave us all the tools. He basically guided us. He gave us uh, the guidelines and he, gave, he basically inspired us. And he didn't interfere in it. He only, he only chimed in or he sounded off only when he felt that the discussion or the meeting was going nowhere and he basically guided us. He allowed us to be empowered to take up this leadership role. So the allow, that's why I looked at Intrac as such a big leadership training and personal development for my life. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, one of the key things that we want to uh, discuss also is one of the big questions. Um, do you provide financial support or help uh, in terms of uh, fundraising for the, the, the Intra Club? So I want to go into uh, talking about it. So let's look at the first case study and let's figure this out. Uh, your Rotian advisor for one of your Intra Club has reported that he's, he's planning to offer a cash sponsorship for one of their projects. And he has also given them a list of successful projects from other clubs. Now, I'd like to add some context to this is that he is a newer Rotarian who is very passionate about youth. He loves working with young people. So he's decided to basically take it upon himself to give them money. Right? And um, he's basically working with a lot of them right now and he's giving them a lot of things. Now, uh, giving them tips is fine, but uh, giving money? Uh, I'd like to hear your views on this matter as uh, Rotarians. And please use the chat right now. We are opening up the chat and I'd like to hear your views on this uh, with regards to um, uh, uh, fundraising and giving money to sponsor these young instructors and their club projects. Uh, and what would you have be, what would you be advised to this Rotarian and what would be the next course of action? So let's take the next uh, two to three minutes and type out your responses. Bear in mind, you can put, uh, you can just type out as many responses as you want. Uh, we are getting a few responses right now. Uh, some of these responses will be like, oh, okay, here's one. Um, yes, don't give them because what's the point of fundraise, teaching them to fundraise if you give them the money? Okay, that's very good. Um, uh, here's something from DG Leo. Uh, he's mentioned that um, uh, clubs should only, uh, I mean, they should not take money from a Rotarian. They should learn how to be able to raise money by themselves, right? Um, okay, there's one here that says that, oh, if the Rotarian is willing to give, why not? Right? Um, okay, right? So I think that's, that's one opinion on that, right? Uh, do a one-to-one -one matching. Okay, that works. Uh, let's say, for example, the, the, the Intra Club managed to raise 1,000 ringgit. Maybe the Rotary Club or that Rotarian can match it with another additional 1,000, maybe 2,000, okay? All right? Um, okay, uh, giving them money will set precedent uh, in the future, right? Um, okay, uh, PDG past district governor, Dr. Paul Lee, uh, he has shared that um, if you were to give to one school, how about the other schools, right? Remember, if let's say, for example, um, you have one school, you may not be the only, they, this might not be the only intra club uh, uh, that you have in your uh, under sport that you sponsor, and if one Rotarian advisor uh, gives money to one school, you might set a precedence that the other schools might like also say, hey, uh, the other school also has money. Why can't we get some also? Uh, or you may start off a little bidding war between different Rotarian advisors. I say, hey, how come he has a Rotarian advisor that gives money and our Rotarian advisor doesn't give money at all? I think, um, I think that's very important. So thank you for all your comments and everything. We can't go through all of it, but I think Generally, I think the consensus is do not give money to these intract clubs or intractors. 
teach them how to fundraise, like what we do at our Rotary Clubs. Uh, uh, guide them, advise them, but generally don't give them money, right? Because it creates a very dangerous uh, dependency on Rotary Clubs to give them money every single time. I think it's, it starts a very unhealthy trend for them, right? Uh, duties to instructors, I think that's very important for, for us to remember. Right? Thank you for participating in the case study. Uh, we'll take note of all your comments and everything. Now, what are the duties to the instructors? Um, the instructors ultimately are the ones that interact the most with the Rotarian advisor. Um, as I mentioned before, as an instructor, um, it played a very big part of my life. I learned about leadership and personal development, about organizational skills, about uh, fundraising as an instructor. And all those um, lessons stayed with me throughout my life. Until today, I love working with youth because it was something that I wanted. And one of the core reasons why I joined Rotary was for the youth. And I feel that this is how I can give back to society by building the next generation of young leaders like how, they, how Intrad built me in the 90s until today. I own my own company. I've represented my country in sports. I've, um, I'm an international trainer and speaker. I'm an international um, uh, citizen of the world. And I think I've contributed a lot of it. And I'd like to thank Intrac and Rotary for that as a whole. Um, remember, um, Intrac is a personal development uh, platform to allow instructors to learn and improve themselves. So every project that all these instructors organize is a learning opportunity for them to inspire learning and personal development. Um, uh, leadership training is very important. Uh, allow them to plan and execute. Guide them, allow them to take the lead. Be inclusive by hands off. Be involved, as I mentioned before. Be present, be participative, but allow them to run the, their own course. Uh, be inspirational, but at the same time, hands off. Give them those organizational skills, advise them on organizational procedures. Um, share with them your experiences as a business person or as an executive or manager. Share them good tools like project management tools. Um, for example, I, I uh, impart project management skills with my instructors during the Intract Learning uh, Leadership Training Seminar about what are the proper steps and guidelines. Uh, give them good templates or give them good knowledge about um, uh, what it means to be an instructor, like the four-way test. How do they use the four-way test to guide their ethical, moral compass when organizing projects? Right. Um, public speaking. Uh, now that Rotary International is working with Toastmasters International, public speaking is something that, uh, as you know, public speaking is one of the number one fears and phobias in the world. And it's very important for us to be able to use that as a, pub, uh, as a publicity. And one of my personal pet peeves and what I really hate the most about um, sometimes what this happens, even it happens in my, uh, the, road, the Intrac clubs under, sponsored by the Rotary Club Patani Jai also is, the instructor seems to have this uh, weird habit of uh, engaging outside MCs for all their functions, whether it's an IU day or whether it's for their installation. I don't like that because why... Uh, you have an opportunity to allow instructors to volunteer to be MCs or to be uh, the hosts of their events, but they don't. They spend money or even if they tell me that, oh, these are all sponsored because they know we are a charity organization or community organization like Intrac. They give it this for free. I say, but instructors, these are not, this is, that's not the point. Um, why don't you get your people to do it? Practice makes perfect. Getting out there, coming up on stage and being able to adjust and working with the mic and everything on stage it's a fantastic learning opportunity for you as an instructor. And I always remind the instructors that even for Rotary Club Petaling Jaya functions, like our installations and our functions and everything, I tell them, uh, there was one incident where uh, one of our events where uh, the Intract BODs actually attended because it, they were give, being given awards by uh, immediate past president Olivia Lim, who at that time during her swan song was handing over during the installation. And I, I basically make it a point to go up to the instructors and the presidents and to show them and say, guys, guys, can you guys take a look right now? Who's the MC right now? Right? And uh, they were quite shocked. I said, look at who's the MC right now. Do you think we paid for him? I said, no, sir. That's Dato Kevin Young, one of your Rotarians. said, yeah. For all our Rotary events, we do not use an outside um, MC. 
we use our own Rotarian. That's Dr. Kevin Young. And in the uh, Rotary Club, Tani Jarrett, the three main, uh, uh, <laughs> I like to say, victims or volunteers for MCs is uh, Dr. Kevin Young, Dr. Sri Krishnamurti, and myself. Um, sometimes when we have our sister club visits from Korea, we also have uh, the wife of our uh, one of our Rotarians, uh, which is um, um, who is married to a Korean woman, and uh, and uh, Rotarian David Ong, uh, who's married to a Korean woman, and she volunteers her time to be able to be MCs for to help us in starting. So I said, why waste those money on which can be used for fundraising and projects when you can? Why do you have to spend your MC? So encourage them to be MCs at their own functions. Introduce them to the Rotary Toastmaster program. I think uh, by the time uh, IDG uh, KS still comes in for the Rotary year 2020-2021, the new RI Toastmasters International programs will be out and available for one. Another good project that I can share with you that the Rotary Club Palang Jaya is doing is the four-way test speech competition. Using the four-way test as a speech model for, for training for public speaking. I think also one of the important things is to um, instill in them the feeling or the need for caring and sharing, to care for others, expose them to service above self, show them what it is to be, a, uh, be part of the Rotary movement, not just through words, but also actions as Rotarians yourself. We have this immense responsibility and duty to be Rotarians and role models, right? Um, let's do a quick case study on this also. Um, let's try to figure this out and to talk about how important is your role and how hands-off do you need to be when it comes to working with uh, this uh, intra club. Now, let's look at this case study here right now on this slide. Your teacher advisor has called you up uh, to report that your school uh, intra club president has committed a very serious disciplinary act. She's asking your opinion on whether to remove him as the president as he does not look good for the intra club. Now, let's share with this context. The intra club here is a very good president, very active, very service minded. He's all, she or she has, she, you know, in this case, it's a he. This is actually an actual case study from our club. Um, he is a very good interactor, very energetic, very enthusiastic, very passionate about the Rotary movement, a very active interactor. He's always organizing a lot of fantastic events and fundraisers. But he has been reported to have caused a very serious disciplinary act. I don't want to dwell too much on the actual situation, but it is something that it has happened internally. It's happened in school. Uh, basically, it's um, uh, breaking and entering into the interact room. Uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts about this. Uh, please use the chat to basically type in what you think about this situation. And let's hear some comments about this from you as Rotary advisors or any opinions of those people who are here today. Uh, while you're typing, I can see some, some comments coming up right now. Ah, okay. Um, I advise the school and teacher advisor to sack him immediately. All right? Um, immediate suspension. Okay, that's a bit harsh. Um, okay. Um, um, our dear kind Rotarian who is very passionate in youth, uh, Arthur, Arthur has mentioned that um, it's an internal school matter. As a Rotarian, you should not get involved. Um, uh, here's another comment. Um, it's a school disciplinary problem. It should be handled within the school. Uh, as a Rotarian advisor, you only advise. You're not supposed to uh, get involved in school matters. Okay, that's uh, generally. Let's, let's wait for a few more comments. Um, what is the offense? Uh, well, the offense was basically, I mentioned, it's not breaking and entering into the intract room. Um, and um, they didn't, uh, the school took offense to it. Um, okay, uh, okay. Uh, generally, I think most of the comments here are looking at, um, uh, okay. Okay, I think uh, the comments here generally is talking about, so, uh, Thank you so much for all your opinions. You are given a lot of things like uh, sack him, uh, uh, advice to the, the, the teacher advisor to suspend him or whatever. 
the general thing is that as an outsider, as a routine advisor, we do not get involved with internal school matters. Uh, if the school asks you for your opinion, you uh, can advise, but you do not advocate or interfere with the actual school process of this problem. Um, you, if they ask you about your comments, give comments only related to the context of that president as an instructor. But, uh, you, but you may not know about his conduct in school, so you are not at liberty to talk about these type of things. So generally, in this situation, in this case study here, uh, we are not supposed to get involved in this type of situation. Right? Uh, it is a matter of the school, it's an internal matter, and you should not get involved uh, for that matter. Right? Even if those, yeah, the, the interact president is very close to you or whatever. Right? Now, uh, we've come to the end of these things. Um, please save your question answer for after this session. And um, uh, we will talk about this. Uh, we understand, I, I'd like to also, since uh, as your GDR and also at the same time, I also have the benefit of uh, being your incoming district interact chair for Rotary Year 2020-2021 under IDG KSTO. Um, and one of the few initiatives is that we like to make it known to you that there are also a lot of key Rotary information uh, sources that you can look at. Uh, I'd like to share with them right now with you. Um, uh, this is the key roles, or what we like to call the bare minimums that you need to do as a Rotary club to um, make sure that uh, uh, you need to do all these type of things. Uh, number one, provide Rotary and Intrack knowledge, uh, the four-way test, the history of Intrack and Rotary, uh, all these basic things. Uh, provide the Rotary year citation information to all Intrack when it comes out. Uh, as for our incoming RI president, Hogan um citation, it's not out yet. Uh, but once this comes out, you should have to print it out or send a digital copy to all your club presidents, Intrack club presidents and board directors so they are aware of it. So they can start planning their projects uh, to center around these citations. Um, conduct your intract leadership training seminar for every BOD. Right? Uh, we understand with some of your clubs that you only have one club and you may not be able or do not have the capacity to be able to manage these uh, uh, intract leadership training seminar. If you require assistance, please contact the district intract chair, which is myself. To make arrangements with it, you can look at look for my uh, email and my handphone number in the district uh, directory once it's out from the district secretariat. Uh, you also need to update Rotary International Database for the intra and teacher advisors before June. I'd like to make a quick adjustment here. It's not August, but June, the end of June. So please make sure, uh, as was reported by PAG Johnson Pang with the, the, the incoming, uh, the current uh, district intra chair, uh, youth chair a lot of intract clubs were actually suspended because they did not uh, fulfill this basic requirement. Uh, okay, um, there are also resources available for Rotary clubs. All right? You are never alone. There are lots of resources uh, for you to be able to um, um, uh, run your Rotary clubs. So let's look at some of the sources from Rotary International um, under your My Rotary account. Uh, you can download the standard Intrack Constitution and Bylaws from the Intrack program page. Um, the RI Statement of Policy on Intrack, right, the, those always updated every term or every few terms. The RI Pro Youth Protection Guidelines, that's actually also there also. You actually, uh, what you don't know is that a lot of people don't realize is that if you look under the youth section in your district uh, handbook or your district directory, there is a district youth protection officer, right? Uh, um, the district youth protection officer for this term is uh, past president Shirley Ho, uh, but for the next term has yet to be chosen yet. Uh, but uh, once you do that, you can basically approach this uh, youth protection officer to get more information about this. In the e-learning center, there is actually a youth protection module that you can sign up and actually take a course in it also. So please take note of all these Rochi International sources. Um, Okay, these are basically district uh, D three three zero zero resources available for our district, and these are actually un these are actually being done right now, um, uh, being uh, rushed into a process right now. Uh, the first is actually the district intract handbook, which is uh, being done by myself. Uh, the editors and co-editors are my uh, past district governor, Dr. Paul Lee, and myself. We are hoping to complete it by May twenty twenty. All right, uh, the district intract leadership training sem seminar manual. It's already completed already by. Past District Governor Paul Lee and myself. 
and we hope to make it available uh, from the district learning center. Uh, the youth lab uh, was organized by the Rotary Club of Jaya together with the district, uh, the current district Intrack uh, training team led by PDG City Subaida, uh, basically on Intrack, Rotrack, IYE, and also RILA to be made available after vetting. And also, you can have access to all the district Intrack committee members. Uh, our, our numbers will be available to you later on. Um, I'd like to introduce to you the district Intrack committee for Rotary Year 2020-2021. Uh, uh, past president or past assistant governor Johnson Pang is will be returning as the district youth chair. Uh, myself, uh, I will be the intra chair. Uh, I will be in charge of working together with uh, clubs in the East Coast and also with the Klang Valley. Uh, PAG Danny Ngoi uh, will be covering uh, Para. Um, he is also the vice intra chair, right? And um, uh, he's also the district in track chair nominee under district uh, governor nominee uh, Bini. And uh, he will be taking care of all the outskirts cities like Satyawan, Telo Intan, and a few other places. Uh, for Ipo metro area, which has quite a number of intra clubs, will be past president Edwin Siebel from the Wichita Ipo. Uh, Rotarian Bernard Hall will be in charge of the Klang Valley with myself. Uh, past president Christina Chai will be taking care of the southern region like Nagri Sambilan. Uh, past President John Lowe will be taking care of uh, Penang, Kheda and Perlis for the Northern Region. So all their contacts will be available at a later date. Uh, we will, uh, so if you have anything, please contact all these people directly in these uh, different zones. Um, some of the incoming term initiatives, and I noticed some question answers right now, and I see some of them right now, is you're asking about the new Rotary term, yes. There will be a change of intract term from July to January for Rotary Year 2020-2021. We will be doing a proper briefing and handout on how to implement and the rationale behind will be published within the month in line with MOE requirements after discussion between District 3300 and the Minister. And it's already been approved and adopted by the District Governors Council upon recommendation of the youth lab findings. And we are also looking at ongoing training for youth service directors and rotary advisors. So today is not just going to be the first session it will be the first of many sessions in the future. And these are one of the few things under um, initiatives under IDG KSTO. So please stay tuned. We'll be uh, having uh, several Zoom sessions to be able to talk to you about the incoming initiatives. All right. Uh, the ongoing training of youth service directors, we will have regular training with, uh, will be organized. Uh, we'll be talking about various topics, for example, engaging with teacher advisors, uh, preventing, uh, how do you present the message of Rotary to schools, uh, we can even invite, uh, we are planning to invite instructors and rotating advisors on sharing sessions on how to make good best practices and success stories from their individual clubs. All right. Um, we are now open to question and answers. All right. Um, um, yes, the, the, the Rotary Year, change of Rotary Year will be ongoing. It will happen during IDG KSTO's year. Um, which means that um, your incoming, incoming board directors for Intrack Club will take office in January next year. Uh, and you can see that it actually serves a lot of purpose because this will actually solve a lot of issues when it comes to syncing uh, with it. I'd like to thank uh, Alex Yen from Indra Makota for telling us, for informing us that yes, it won't be a major issue to change. I'd like to thank you so much for that. I hope to be able to work with you and all of that. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for attending this session for today. Uh, we will answer any question answer offline as well. And we will also be having multiple other sessions in the future for this. I'd like to thank everyone for attending today. I'd like to thank uh, our host for today, which is uh, 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 PAG Raj, all right, for hosting this for today. And my other co-host, uh, Tuge uh, Rotarian uh, Nagesh from KLD Raja, as well as uh, District Secretariat uh, Limpo Hu. I'd like to thank uh, district, uh, incoming district trainer, PDGC uh, Kiranjit, for um, organizing the room session and allowing me to have this responsibility to do this. Uh, thank you to District Governor Leo, incoming district governor, uh, KSTO, uh, district governor nominee, um, Bindi, uh, district governor, uh, designate, um, Dr. Krishna, and all the other Rotarians, past presidents, PAGs, AGs, uh, past presidents, uh, president elects for attending our session today, youth service directors and Rotarian advisors. Uh, thank you for having this session with us today, and I would like to 
uh, wish you a very good uh, one. And please always remember, we are that shiny beacon for these youth and for these instructors. So we need to be that shiny beacon to, uh, to be the ambassador for it. And we have the, the, the future and personal development and professional development of these youth are in our hands. And I'd like to thank you very much for, uh, for having this session with me today. Thank you very much and have a good day. And remember, stay home, stay safe.